The baby whale swam too close to the shore and ended up among more than a dozen surfers. Now the baby is scared and may accidentally throw himself onto dry land, but the mother was on her guard. She swam up to her cub and managed to push it away from the shallow water. Surprisingly, the alarmed female did not show any aggression towards people who were not sure who they were dealing with. But although an adult whale could sweep several people off the boards into the water with one blow of its tail, the female only poured water on them. And we will show you other epic, touching, and intense cases when females protected their cubs. At the same time, sometimes the maternal care of animals looks not only so much menacing as cute and touching. Here, the owner prepares food for the puppy. While the guy mixes the ingredients of the treats, he keeps the baby away from the bowl. The puppy persistently wanders to the food, but the guy is still busy. This scene is watched by the mother, who at some point decides, well, that's enough, and puts her paw on the guy's arm so that he finally lets her cub go to the food. No aggression, just a sweet and funny scene. But the guy did not expect that the mother would so tactfully stand up for her baby. This gray crow got involved with the wrong mother hen. When a dangerous bird flew into the coop, she hoped to scare the chicken and catch herself a chicken for lunch. But she was wrong. The chicken showed incredible determination instead of panic. Just look at how she deals with the shocked crow. She tries to fight back, but the chicken just tramples her. After the chicken immobilized the opponent and suppressed the resistance, she did not stop and began to peck right into the opponent's neck. It seems that she does not want to let the enemy go alive so that he will return for a second attack when he recovers. This can be understood. For the sake of the offspring, the bird, and any mother, is ready for different actions. Sometimes you can't do without harsh measures, especially since crows are stubborn and smart. But this crow will no longer threaten anyone. After several blows to the throat, the chicken began to hit the enemy's skull and eyes exactly. Attempts to fight back seem desperate, and then the crow weakens, and its wings only twitch slightly under the blows of the chicken. Do you think she should have let go of her opponent? Or did she do the right thing? Reply in the comments. These two guanacos didn't know who they were dealing with. Mountain lions usually rely on a quick attack and retreat if they cannot defeat the enemy for a long time. But here the situation is developing according to an unusual scenario. The cougar attacked two guanacos, who immediately scattered to the sides. The predatory cat managed to catch one of the enemies at the last moment, but did not overwhelm, but only hooked its claws on the hind legs of the victim. The guanaco showed impressive resistance and began kicking to throw off the predatory cat. Of course, the mountain lion is not afraid of hoofbeats, but the more the predator spends energy, the less benefit from hunting, even if successful. But the cougar does not retreat. She demonstrates incredible agility and right during the wild rodeo reaches her fangs into the neck of the prey from behind. She climbs, but the guanaco throws the predator off her back at the very last moment, just a second before the predator's fangs close around her neck. A victory? Not at all. The cougar suddenly jumps up and attacks the guanaco again. The herbivore did not expect such tenacity. But the reason for such a dedication is simple. A kitten is watching the hunt. The guanaco is not only prepared for the role of lunch, all this hunting is kind of textbook. According to which a fluffy and cute baby learns to get food for himself right now. And the puma is ready to give 100% for him. She jumps back onto the back of the guanaco, after which she finally gets to the throat of the opponent. The cougar finishes off the victim, and the kitten, along with a valuable lesson, gets its lunch, without which his life would be in danger. Admit it, such a dedication deserved your like, doesn't it? This zebra showed the hyena that it is better not to approach foals at all. 
The enraged female ran into the predator, knocked it down due to the advantage in mass and acceleration, and then began the chase. The hyena has no chance but to stand up to such fury. She runs away in a panic, and the zebra also bites the enemy on the run and grabs the base of the spine with its teeth. The hyena was lucky. An adult female could bite her spine. That's really who has a reputation for vulnerable and defenseless cuties. So it's rabbits. But when the crow attacked the cub, she did not understand that for the sake of saving the offspring, the baby's mother is able to awaken the spirit of a samurai within herself. Just look at how the female resolutely runs at the aggressor. You don't expect this from timid rodents. But it becomes clear that for her, protecting the baby is not just a reflex, but the main goal. She fights off the offspring of an enemy stunned by such a rebuff, after which she begins to chase the bird. When mom is far away, the only chance for a little rabbit to survive is to go unnoticed. Agree. At first, you really didn't notice the baby among the foliage, especially behind the fence. But the snake is guided by smell, not just by sight. She explores the whole neighborhood with a sensitive tongue, realizes that lunch is nearby, and finds the rabbit. And when he finds him, he immediately rushes at him, bites into him, and begins to strangle him. Are you scared? Don't worry, mom came to the rescue just in time. The snake certainly did not expect such fury. The rabbit was fighting a snake, and the first part of the battle is difficult to make out behind all these plants. But it is clearly visible how the tail and body of the snake flicker. The enraged female throws the snake from side to side, bites it with hard teeth, and beats it with clawed paws. And the reptile is completely powerless, and the rabbit ignores its bites. After receiving a terrible beating, the snake breaks free and crawls away to a higher bush. It remains to be hoped that both the mother and the baby will survive and be able to recover from such an attack. You know the expression, it's as easy as taking a toy away from a child? Well, this is clearly not a baby gorilla. This black ball of fur was clutching his favorite toy so sweetly and looked so helpless. It's so small that it's hard to even call it a game. A young teenage gorilla from the same enclosure decided that it could be used to take away her favorite thing. That's just the baby was being watched by the mother all this time. She was sitting motionless, probably admiring her offspring. And as soon as the teenager took one extra step towards the baby, the female immediately started up and went across like a living, mighty mountain. The teenager immediately retreated. He did not want to get into the face for some piece of rubber. It's reasonable. It's not worth contacting her cub. Mom is always there to help. Actually, male lions are very good dads, but this one is still very young. He is so actively interested in the den with newborn lion cubs that he may accidentally harm them. The female understands this and gives the male such a beating that the lion begins to realize who the real leader is in the pride. He fights back because he has an advantage in mass. But the lioness doesn't care. She clearly knows a lot about martial arts. Just look, she's throwing a lion over her head. The stunned male does a somersault, lands on his back, and retreats. And the lioness also beats him with a clawed paw in pursuit. It's funny that after receiving such a painful lesson, the lion behaves as if nothing had happened. But the cubs are provided with peace when such a brave mother is around. The porcupine is a very difficult opponent in itself, but still this beast is usually not particularly aggressive. He fights back desperately and harshly, but tries not to bring it to a fatal end and avoids a fight until he is finally exasperated. However, in this case of a threat to offspring, the porcupine's patience runs out much faster. You can say instantly. When a predator attacks a family of these animals, it makes the biggest mistake of its life. 
Porcupines don't even waste time trying to retreat. They immediately launch a counterattack. Their goal is not just to give battle to the enemy, but to pile on him so that the leopard can never threaten anyone ever again. Male and females act as a united front. While one of the parents covers the kids and protects them as the last line of defense, the second one acts directly against the leopard. The porcupine is at least three times inferior to the enemy in mass, but the parents don't really care. At first, the leopard still thought that he was here, a cool and scary predator. But the porcupines quickly proved to him that today the spotted cat was destined for the role of victim. The leopard maneuvered, tried to get around the porcupines and catch their cub, and for a while the situation looked threatening. But in fact, the baby is safe. The enraged parents immediately stopped the predator's attempts to attack their offspring. Instead of just holding up to protect their needles, the porcupines went into battle. The leopard trapped itself when it got so close to two adults. This was a fatal mistake. The leopard, even with all its agility, did not have a chance to dodge. The needles tore through the predator's skin and sank deep into its flesh. But this is just the beginning. When the pain pierced the cat's body, he realized that he needed to retreat, but no one would let him go. The porcupines surround the leopard. Their needles are pointed backwards so as not to interfere with the beasts themselves, so they have to back away to attack. It doesn't look too dangerous, but only as long as the needles are not near the predator's eyes. Porcupines ram the enemy, bypass him, do not let go, and leave needles in his body again. The jagged tips of the sharp needles not only penetrate deep into the leopard's body, but also get stuck there. But the base of the needles is smooth, so they come out of the porcupine's body pretty easily. As a result, the leopard receives multiple deep penetrating wounds that threaten its internal organs. But the main thing is that the needles remained inside. The leopard itself cannot take them out, at least not when there are so many. The leopard's wounds will begin to rot, the inflammation will turn into blood poisoning. And even until this happens, the predator will not be able to hunt because the needles will prevent it from sneaking up and running, depriving it of sleep and disturbing it. And the predator is also threatened with starvation. But now the spotted cat does not know all of this. He stops trying to eat the little baby porcupines. And the baby is saved. And what do you think about the price of such a rescue? Let us know in the comments. Makakes are quite cruel animals, but this kitten was lucky that his mother saved him from being kidnapped. The monkey tried to take the baby away, but the cat rebuffed her, piled on, and protected the kitten. Pay attention to exactly how this fight is going. Although the makake cannot move on two hind legs, it is able to sit steadily and for almost any length of time relatively straight with its front paws free. This allows her to fight them effectively. It is difficult for a cat to keep its balance even while sitting, but the advantage of dexterity, flexibility, and of course excellent motivation adds strength to the female. She dominates the makake and overwhelms it with a stunning attack. This fight might seem funny to us, but in fact it is a fight for the survival of a little cute kitten. And we can only be glad that the cruel primate never got to him. Elephant seals are one of the largest pinnipeds in the world. And an aggressive male can simply crush a baby. At the same time, he acts very brutally. To prevent the cub from escaping, the huge male can use his jaws to grab the baby, pull it towards him, and cause additional pain with a bite. This way, the frightened pinniped cub will resist less. Then one powerful blow from top to bottom, and the male will simply break the cub's spine. Fortunately, the mother is on her guard. She saves the cub from the aggressor, although she is twice as big as him. The male's plan crumbled when the female rebuffed him with a more active and furious counterattack. It is difficult to say why the male attacked the family, 
Perhaps the reason is jealousy or a competition for food. It is easier to cope with a baby now than in the future when he grows up. In any case, it failed. The mother was on guard. Interestingly enough, females and males too of many pinniped species react quite violently and aggressively to humans. The reason is simple, hunters. That's just one secret that wildlife researchers, photographers, and zoologists use. The fact is that pinnipeds evaluate what kind of creature is in front of them, not by smell or even details of appearance, but by silhouette. Are you standing on two hind legs? Then you are the enemy, and you will not be allowed anywhere near the beach occupied by these animals. If you, if you were lying on your stomach, then you are also a pinniped animal. At the same time, some seals and sea lions react to a change in the position of the human body right in front of them as a real transformation. That is, a wildlife researcher approaches seals, which react to him as an enemy, they do not attack, but they also do not let him get close to them. Then, right in front of the animals, the person just lies down on the rocks. And that's it! They're ready to take him for their own! Moreover, the females even let their babies get acquainted with such exotic seals. Yes, pinnipeds often mistake lying people for relatives. In the strange appearance, smell, and even the presence of equipment does not bother the pinnipeds at all. Maybe it's such an exotic seal from distant lands that sailed to them. We need to get to know each other and to be hospitable. They're not racist. Surprisingly, while the researcher is lying down, a fierce and aggressive female can even let a man near her cub. It's hard to expect such a reception from these sort of wild animals, isn't it? But we must admit that these creatures are quite charming. Would you like to get to know the baby seal so closely? Let us know in the comments. Lions are constantly fighting with competitors and exterminating other predators on their territory, including cheetahs. Finding a den of spotted cats with kittens for lionesses means winning the jackpot. The female cheetah knows how such an acquaintance will end. Therefore, she gives herself away and goes out to the lionesses first. Provoked by such arrogance, predatory cats immediately break off in pursuit. They want to catch the cheetah, fall on it, break its neck. They are driven by excitement, but the lionesses do not know that the spotted cat uses itself as bait. The female cheetah takes the lionesses as far away from the kittens as possible. She's taking a risk. You shouldn't underestimate the agility of lionesses. Yes, she's super fast, but she can't keep up the pace for long. If she breaks into a run at the wrong time, she will get tired, and experienced lionesses will be able to trap her. Therefore, the female cheetah most of the time has to retreat from the lionesses with a step or a slow run. Lionesses work together and can effectively drive the victim, but the female cheetah turns out to be not only fast, but also cunning. She did not allow herself to be surrounded, broke out of the ring, and broke away from the chase. The female spent a lot of effort, because it is not easy for her to mainstay such a pace. The problem is that the distracting the lionesses from their lair, the mother had to move quite far away. Now she has to sneak home unnoticed and find the kittens before they run away in search of their mother and get hurt. The situation is tense, but the female cheetah demonstrates both restraint and discretion. As a result, she finds the kittens and is happily reunited with them. The kids are saved. A huge python smelled the lair of a wild cat and went in there to investigate. The predatory reptile was lucky. There was not only an adult agile individual who can escape, but also several kittens. The burrow has only one entrance, and the snake blocks it, so the kids can't get out. If the mother tries to move the kittens, then while she is busy with one of them, the python will attack the others. The cat has three options. The first is to abandon offspring in the face of the threat of a cold-blooded monster that is more than seven times larger. The second is to transfer as many kittens as possible because it is unlikely to do so without losses. The third is to stay and get in the way of the monster to try to save everyone. 
The most reasonable option is the second, but is maternal love really guided by reason? Of course, the cat chose the third option and gave the python an impressive rebuff. And this is not the only such case that caught the camera lens. There was already a domestic, but a stray cat is forced to protect such a den from a python. As you can see, females always choose to protect all offspring. They can't leave any of their babies. Pretty admirable, isn't it? Although the python's head alone weighs almost as much as the entire cat, a crushing blow from a clawed paw managed to show the snake just how unwelcome it was and throw it away. While the kids were helplessly clinging to their mother's back, the cat managed to literally throw the python out of the threshold of its lair. But the snake understands what's at stake here, so it picks it up again and again. Cats in all cases bravely hold the siege. The python attacks, and at the last moment the female in each case manages to dodge the terrible mouth of the enemy. However, she still came out of the lair after that. Did she really give up? Of course not. She counterattacked the snake from the other side. However, the python does not act thoughtlessly either. He tries to drag as much of his body into the lair as possible. The kittens are paralyzed by fear. Their mother rushes into a hopeless battle against an enemy several times stronger. Having received many quick blows, the python is injured, but he did not receive any serious damage, because if the cat had grappled with him seriously, the snake would have simply strangled her in a few seconds. Therefore, the female had to keep her distance. She couldn't win. Fortunately, the story of the wildcat has a pretty good ending, which was left behind the scenes. People could not stay away from this dramatic situation and simply grabbed the python by the tail, after which the snake, stunned by such arrogance, was taken out of the den of the cats. Not a single kitten was injured. The python too, it was just carried away. Do you think the people did hear the right thing? What would you do in their place? What episode of maternal love from this story touched you the most? Reply in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to see the most spectacular cases from the natural world more often.